everybody and welcome back to Chrono Trigger and this is part 7 and uh, so now we're getting back to we're gonna get back to Chrono Trigger and Mario RPG here so expect, uh, expect things to go as usual so just to kind of update uh, what what happened here I didn't upload on Saturday because I just kind of want to take a little break after Halloween and, um, so I, I just decided on Saturday, I didn't want to do anything. And, uh, so, I decided to just upload, you know, the, the following week there. So now, now we're getting back to Chrono Trigger. And we're leaving off right where we left off here. Uh, there's nothing really, really changed here. This is a, a new recording session. Um, for this right here and um, I hope everybody had a good Halloween um, mine was just it was it wasn't good nor bad it was just there because I really didn't I didn't do anything um, apart from actually uploading my videos there and uh, so yeah so getting on to what's going on screen here uh, we're getting to the uh, the jet bike um, mini game here, and um, really what it is is uh, you're just racing Johnny here, There's a little robot guy here, and uh, technically you don't really have to do anything until you get kind of close to the goal there. Um, it's just an easy win on just let him stay behind him until the, uh, near the very end and then just kind of weave around and then do your boost there and that right there that was actually super close there I, I, I thought for a split second that I I didn't uh, I didn't win that but uh, when you hear the the victory music here it means that you won um, you'll know that you didn't win And um, so what I did there was um, just at the last second I boosted to the finish line and that, that beat him. And um, after winning, you actually unlock. Um, I, there's a robot that keeps track of your score. And I don't know, it's whatever. But uh, so that right there that we just passed, uh, we'll be going there. Don't go in there just yet because you can't go any further yet because uh, we need a certain character that we'll be getting here in just one minute after we take care of these enemies. And uh, I, I think these are new enemies there. I don't recall putting these uh, back in like I think it was lab 16 I think it was. Or 32. I don't remember. I can't remember which number it was. But um... Yeah, these, these guys are real easy. Um, you know, just basically attack them. Um, I, I know, I, I've seen a, um, I've seen a speedrun uh, video on, on how to bypass some of these fights there. And from what I've seen, I, I it's really hard to do. At least for me anyways. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, I try to speed run in some spots, but it's like, yeah. But um, so the, these these uh these here, uh, that one I cut out there, kind of looked like they just <laughs> popped out of existence, but uh, that's nothing there. So I, I use uh, don't worry about healing afterwards, because uh, you can just go to that little thing I just did there, and you'll you'll recover everything. So this this uh, this is the the new character I was talking about. Uh, we'll be getting this character here in just one minute here after Luca here actually repairs him. It's a robot character. And I know I know Luca is very very smart, but I, I I'm kind of questioning how she knows how to repair. This thing there, although I guess it doesn't take that much to repair him. Although later on you'll see, like how great she is, kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a Mary Sue kind of uh, I can fix it kind of thing there, because it's like, oh yeah, I can fix that, and it's like, well, how did you fix that? You know, 
you know, I don't know. But anyway, so Luca here is gonna turn on uh, our new robot character here, and we'll see what happens. So, um, well, I mean, I know you can, like, rename characters and all that, but, uh, I, I keep the characters' names, like, the, uh, the default when they go to the naming screen. Um, this character's name is Robo, which is kind of, like, <laughs> it's kind of a, um, a lame name to actually have as a default. I, I probably should have named something else. He has a, um... Uh, I think they, um, uh, Robo calls it a, a serial number, and it was like R66, uh, R66-Y, I believe it is. And, um, it can be funny that you can actually name him that, and they'll be like, oh, okay, we'll name him that. <laughs> yeah, this right here, it's uh, R66-Y. You can name him that, uh, because it's in, within the... Amount of characters that you can use. Um, I believe it's like five or six characters you can use. I, I can't remember what the actual length you can use, but um, but yeah. But I, I keep it Robo, which is I guess <laughs> short for robot. It's like calling Frog Frog. It's like oh, you you gonna call uh, Colonel uh, Dude and Call Meryl a uh, hot chick with uh, <laughs> call her a hot chick. And call Luca like smart chick, <laughs> nerd or something. <laughs> I I probably should have gotten creative with the names there. I don't know, but I guess it's whatever. But, uh, so anyways, so what, uh, Robo is gonna, um, is actually explaining right here is that, uh, the power to this place is actually out. And we actually need to go to that northern factory to actually restore the power. Now, the problem is that we can't, it's just, you know, the game's accused of not having, like, four people in the party. Um, someone has to stay behind to activate the, uh, to open the door there. Because it will only be open for a short time. And during that time there, they, they'll have the power to open the door. And then it's just a simple, oh, okay, we can just open the door. And then they can just leave it open uh, with the power off. Um, so, I will leave uh, Meryl behind. Or Marl, however you pronounce her damn name. Hot Chick. <laughs> we'll name her Hot Chick from now on. <laughs> but anywho, so... Uh, Robo there is trying to, he's trying to, uh, trying to end himself there, but he, he knows that the, uh, the power's off there. Now, the thing is that we, ha it's actually kind of weird is that I, I don't know why we need, well, I know why. Actually, it's because, um, Robo knows how to access certain computers to turn off, uh, like certain laser trips or, you know, laser blockage or whatever. <laughs> Um, I mean, you'll see here. It's going to be on this video, so. And, um, when he's in your party here, the, he'll access the, uh, the computer there, and I guess he'll kind of, like, deactivate or, well, pre yeah, pretty much deactivate, uh, stuff for you. And, um, so, yeah. Well, let me just check in to see if he needed anything better, and he's, he's actually pretty good. Um, he actually comes uh, pre-equipped with the, the Defender accessory, which actually ups his uh, defense there. So if you actually want to actually switch that out with something else, then by all means. So now we're going to go up to here, and it's just simply called Factory. And you can just talk to the computer here, and you get this little scene where Robo actually just shits out the little laser beam that's to the right over there.
And uh, so now we fight these little goopy enemies here. I think we fought them uh, earlier before the, the um, I guess they were like a bluish gray color. Um, the ones that we fight here are red, uh, kind of like an orange and uh, orangey color. I don't know if it's like an orangey red. Uh, but it's an orange and green. And this was me figuring out which one to go down. And it's actually on the left side there. I think the other side goes... It goes somewhere later, but we we don't need to... Oh, yeah, you know what? I actually forgot to go down that way. Um, now I'm looking back at this. If you actually go down that way, there's actually some uh, extra stuff down that way that you can get some extra equipment. And... Um, you can get some stuff for, um, I believe there's, there's an item for, I believe, I believe it's for, um, uh, Marl and, um, and, uh, Luca, I believe. I'm not sure. Kind of like, like armor or something like that. I don't remember, but. I do remember there's some actually some stuff down that way, and I actually forgot to go down that way. Now when I think about it, but oh well, kind of straightforward to the point here. So I I probably actually should have cut out some of these battles here. Um, I'm actually surprised I left this one in, but uh, the other ones there I'll actually be cutting out. Because most of the time it will just be these goopy monsters there, and uh, we'll actually be finding a big group later on. So this one I, that one I cut. And basically what you should do is just kind of stick to the sides there. Don't stay in the center of the pathways there, because you'll, you'll kind of run into the, uh, the triggers for, for battles there. So, it's going to be, be careful of that. That's me just uh, kind of boosting uh, Chrono there a little bit there. He was getting a little low uh, after that one battle. And I was just making sure that he had... Um, he was good there. Now, this Titan Vest there, I gave it to Luca because uh, she had the lowest uh, defense of, of the three. So, I figured might as well give it to her so she, was, so she can survive better there. And that hammer uh, thing there, that's for, that's for Robo there. And we just type to this uh, computer right here, and it will actually deactivate the the system there. But it will actually trigger a small, uh, a medium group of the, the goopy monsters there. And we're going to be skipping past that. <laughs> so. Not that bad. Uh, just uh, They're very similar um, with like the, the blue goop there. Just kind of use like Chrono Slash ability. And, um, don't actually, I, I, I should probably get a strong emphasis, don't you, if you have Luca with you, don't use her fire ability, because apparently they don't work on them for some reason. So, um, yeah, so don't, uh, don't use that either. So this, uh, this right here, um, you're actually just supposed to press the buttons in a certain order there. I know the order, um, I believe it's, um, uh, Z, Z, uh, Z A B Y. I think it's like in a. It's basically it was circular in mine. The way that I got my my stuff mapped out. But um, but anyway, so after we, you're supposed to flip that switch right there, and then all of a sudden the whole place goes into haywire for some reason. I don't know why, but. So, so now we kind of have to try to escape a little bit and let's kind of go back the way we came and uh, eventually we'll come across uh, uh, a little boss battle here. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, and just uh, make your way back to over here, and once you get to this little spot right here, you'll get this little cutscene. And we'll be, we'll actually be fighting these uh, six uh, Robo, blue Robo enemies here. 
Um, all these robots actually look the same there. They just, uh, these, these, I guess they just have a different coat of paint or something. I don't know. And, uh, so these robots there are actually, like, uh, mindless robots, I guess, because they're, I guess they have a specific program on them that actually just makes them drones. And I guess, uh, well, I guess all of them are programmed with that. I guess this when Robo was created, um, I guess he was programmed differently. Or when he got shut down, it, uh... It altered his programming and it made him who he is, like how he is right now. Because um, in, in this uh, timeline right here, the um, the robots here are actually like taking over everything. And they actually hate the humans. So um, that's why you don't see a lot of humans around over here. And uh, so now they're beating him up for... We're being a traitor, and eventually we're actually going to fight these guys, and um, we'll be getting into how to deal with that. Uh, it's it's when I got to it, it was a slightly difficult for me. I kind of had a slight hard time there because I I think uh, I had Luca die one time during the battle there, and. Um, it was only that one time there, but that was it. But uh, later on, uh, there was actually a battle where I got kind of difficult. And um, I actually had to... Uh, I actually had to uh, do the battle again. And um, then I, I beat the uh, beat the boss again. So uh, we'll be seeing that like kind of way later. Probably in the next one, maybe. I'm not sure. But, but anyway, so... Basically, the strategy I would do is just have Chrono do his um, his cyclone attack, and just they they stay stationary. They don't move around, so you can just do like the center one. You can get like all three, like I guess you can call them columns uh, of the <laughs> of the robots there. And it is a, a good way to get rid of them because it, it just takes two cyclone attacks on each um, three groups there, and and then you're good to go. Um, so it kind of took a little time there because uh, each one of them are attacking so it takes like you know six turns here and um, once you get rid of one column there it actually goes a lot quicker because then not as many are attacking you so this right here I was actually getting a little worried but uh, I was I was thinking right here I could do a fire, the fire uh, cyclone there, and it would actually do a lot more. But it actually just did about this, um, actually a little bit less than uh, what my normal attack would have done. So this right here, I was actually getting a little worried because each of them actually did the little attack, and it killed. Um, it actually does uh, get um, Luca killed. This is actually what uh, what killed Luca. So I'm like, oh crap, and, and then this right here, I'm just like, oh no, and then, oh no. So I, I cured cured him there, he had only like 4 HP left there, and I'm like, oh crap, that was close. So then I, and then I, and then I did a revive. Now the thing with uh, using items is that your, your next, I think your next turn comes a lot quicker, because the, the item thing there doesn't like exactly use a lot of like, Time per se, but I don't know. So over here, I just do the cyclone, and that should that should do it for for defeating them. That was enough. I think they got like 150 or something like that. I don't remember how much they have, but um, you do do pretty close to like 200 each time, so it's whatever. So even though we just got Robo and he got tr um, really beat up here, he he actually does come back here. Um, um, Luca actually does repair, uh, Robo here. Once we get back to the protodome there, we'll, they, uh, actually repair him. So, we'll, we'll see this little cutscene here and, and you'll see.
So as you can see, uh, you know, Robo is still, I guess he's still kind of operational in a the sense there. I guess he's just kind of, kind of trashed a little bit. I guess when the, uh, the blue Robo clone is there, I guess they didn't really beat him up too badly. It was like in just such a way to where it just kind of. It's just like they they called him breaking his legs or something. <laughs> so what we're gonna see here is kind of uh, another like like in-game thing. I'm telling you, you can only have three people in your party. Because uh, we're actually going to go through this little time portal that's up ahead here. And it's actually going to take us somewhere completely different that uh, that usually would happen. So oh, yeah, that, uh, that was different. So we actually end up here, and this is uh, this place is actually called the um, End of Time. Um, uh, this this guy, this old man here, will tell us what this place is. And uh, basically, what it is is that uh, this place here, uh, and we oh by the way, got a um, emulator achievement there for getting here. Um, so what it is is that. Uh, if four people go into a time gate, it actually sends them here because it's the least, uh, I guess this place here has the least, uh, resist, uh, it says the least resistance of, like, time fracture. Um, because each, each time error has, yeah, see, like this right here. Um... Basically, it detects that there's four people, so it just sends them to this place there. So, um, it's kind of like a safety net for time, I guess. And, um, he actually says more visitors, or guess it, I think he said. And, um, I guess what happened was, is that, um, some, I guess, recent time gates, other places that we just don't know about, or we just don't even see... Um, have shown up and uh, people have actually appeared in the um, end of time place there and they got um, I don't want to say trapped but they got here and um, the old man here directed them to go back or whatever you know you know it's kind of one of those things to where you know the sequel can be like a little like uh, what do you call it, like, in, like, um, as Chrono, Chrono Trigger 1 is going on, like, if you make a Chrono Trigger 2 game, it can be, uh, other groups of people finding other ones, and it's just like you, you know, um, like, they, they end up here, and they go on their own adventure, and, like, uh, you know, they, you know, like, it could be a thing to where, like, oh, they cleaned up, uh, what these guys did at the end or something. But, I don't know. But, uh, so, now we're gonna unlock, uh, the magic ability there. But we have to go into this, uh, one room in here to actually do that. And we actually kind of do a little... A little... 
circle thing around there. So uh, when we get to it, I'm actually going to speed it up there. So we talk to this little guy there, and we'll get this little conversation right here. So, uh, so basically, what's gonna basically at the end of everything? Um, uh, everybody, I think except Robo, but he kind of gets something anyways. Um, gets magic abilities. Um, um, I, I think if you probably saw on the um, menu screen, you actually saw some elementals on their thing there. I think that they were there. I, I don't know if they that shows up after you get here. But, uh, like it says here, um, there's actually, it's divided into four groups, and Chrono gets, uh, Lightning, Meryl gets, uh, the Ice, and Luca gets Fire, and Fro when you bring Frog over here, um, he gets Water, which is kind of, I guess, sort of the same as, uh, the Ice there, but they're, they're kind of hand in hand, I guess. Um, if you have Robo in your party, he'll he'll say, "Oh, well, you're a robot. You can't use magic, but you you can use shadow magic." And um, that's kind of interesting a conversation there. If you bring them there, I I think uh, doing the circulation, I think I did actually one more than I should have, but I was just being safe because uh, sometimes that little detection there is kind of weird. Like it wants you to do. The third one, and then another one to complete the cycle. But, I don't know, it's whatever. So, you can um, actually go against uh, that guy there. He He's actually on par with what you have. Uh... It doesn't matter how high you get, he is tough. Like, he'll always be tough. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you might be able to do it the first time, but uh, I, th I think it's like if you defeat him like 10 times there, I think he gives you like, uh, I think he gives you some uh, mega elixirs there, if I'm not mistaken. But, eh, that's whatever. So anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.